campus it's gainer again um i haven't got a full-on project to show you yet we'll be doing it slowly over the course of how long it takes but i've been working on it for the past hour and a half um it's called a little treasure box and my friend the lovely diane furnace sent it me on a pdf and i uh just thought it was absolutely because we're doing a 3d project all week in my um stamp with joy on facebook we do a weekly challenge and we've been doing 3D projects and she sent a picture and I was like, oh my God, I think that's so adorable. Can I have it? Can I have the PDF for it? And she said yes. So she emailed it to me. So I'm going to make it with you. I've already done a few bits. I'm sorry about that, but this takes the longest time ever. And I've done the lid, but the lid is exactly the same way as the little trays. It's called a treasure box. And um, I'm going to tell you what you need first. You're going to need the outer box. You're going to need a piece of cardstock at six by eleven and a quarter, and you're going to score it at two and a quarter, four and a half, six and three quarters, and nine. For your lid, then you need a piece seven by seven, and you need this for the small box. You need four at six by six. I will put all these on the blog, and I'll ask Diane if I can pop her PDF on there so you can all have a look as well. Designer series paper you need for the top of your lid, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I ended up with two pieces because I put one inside. So you, you want two of those. Your panels, you'll need ten because there's five sides to each of your pan, uh, outer panel box. And they're five and three quarters by two. The little liners to go inside each of the boxes, you'll need four at two by two. And for the fronts, you'll need four at one and seven eighths by three quarters. So there are your pieces you will need. You are going to get your pet with all your squares. You after you've scored your outer piece, this is it. I haven't got ten pieces of designer series paper all the same. I've got four and six because I'm using retired papers. No, they're not retired. They will be in June. So Costapa Denim, Flirty Flamingo, um, the in colours. For 2015-2017, we'll be retiring in June, so because we'll have some no, uh, new colours. So you've got Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Flirty Flamingo, Pickaboo Peach and sugar, uh, Sweet Sugar Plum. They'll be going now um, in June, 2016-2018 colours. So gra if you want them, grab them colours now and your re -inkers. Otherwise, they'll be gone in June and you won't be getting them back. So I'm ret using retired cardstock and retired designer series paper because anything that contains the colour theory is got those colours in, the dapper denim. Um, so they'll be retiring. So if you want them, go grab them now. Um, let me see. Pickaboo Peach. So naturally eclectic is going to disappear. Um... I'm just looking. That one's okay. Um, uh, the picker pattern, that's going because it's got flirty flamingo in. Um, sweet sugar plum is in the birthday memories. Eastern Palace. That's why I'm using that designer series paper because that is all a uh, denim in there, and so is the pip cardstock to match. So those card, yeah, they're going as well. Card, the inks, and the designer series papers. So they will be retiring. So grab them early if you don't want to miss out on those colours. So I am going to add two panels on the inside in that colour and three in I could use that side or I could use that side and be cheerful so I'm going to have three like that on the inside and on the outside so I'm mixing and matching them up a bit so we can attach these right now so I'm just going to get my tape runner and I'm going to add each piece to my panel. I do hope I do Diane's uh, little treasure box some justice because this is the first time I'm making it so 
Please, if I make any mistakes, you're going to see them all tonight, trust me. <laughs> oh, we could turn those that way, couldn't we? What do you reckon? No, I'm going to stick to what I said. Because I love the, I love that colour. I was just starting to uh, join Stamping Up as they fetched these new colours out. And I was so happy when they said about the dapper denim. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, any paper goes over. Just flip it over. So add your ten panels now. Inside and out. Yes. So, oh my gosh. You've got till June. I'm not saying rush out right this second, but if you don't want to miss out on those colours, you should start to think about getting your reinkers, maybe some cardstock, maybe even getting some packs of designer series paper before they all go. Because I've seen other demonstrators advertising on their Facebook. Get them while you can, because they're going to be gone in June forever. And we're, I'm sending my last year's cardstock and um, ink pad to a lady called Karen in the Netherlands. She has got a couple of the colours, but she's missing a few, so I'm sending her mine. She is absolutely adorable. I've been, she's been chatting to me on my YouTube channel, and. Uh, she said, I'll pay for them. I don't want no payment, sweetheart. You just, you pay for postage and packaging and I will send them you for free, my angel. I honestly don't want your, sweet, your money, sweetheart. Yes, I could keep them for myself, but I'd sooner help somebody else out. So that's what I'm doing. My good deed. I don't think... I think, uh, think we all could do is spread in a few good deeds, make ourselves feel better, make other people feel better. There's no harm in spreading a little happiness around. I try and do as much of it as I can. And I've never been a seller. And, you know, my husband said, oh, sell it. No, if someone can get used to it, give it to them. It's different if it was a car or something like that. But, you know, for a little ink pad and some extra papers that are sitting at my desk doing nothing you know I wasn't using them so yes yeah, so and my lovely friend Stella has offered to send her a re-inker as well isn't that really nice just takes a few of you to be nice to each other make this world a better place Amongst all the other crap we have to live with. Let's, I, like as somebody left a comment saying, you can definitely guarantee in the crafting community, everyone is so caring and so giving. And they're right. You don't find that in any other thing in the world. Unless you're family, your friends, you either know them. This lady is just one of my subscribers. And that. She loves to watch my channel, so this is my way of saying thank you, and thank you for sticking with me. I think you're in. A, I think you're all superstars, and I'd love to help every single one of you if I could. So there's that panel for our box, and it will end up closing up on itself. So I think that worked out quite fine for me. My two colours are together, so it's like opposites and opposites. Perfect. I haven't finished decorating my lid, but that's my lid. I ended up putting the piece inside. It is slightly big, but uh, and it's so reinforced. It's unbelievable. I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to pop these on to decorate. It's so simple. It just takes a little bit of time and, and a bit of cons to consume your time a little bit but it's well worth it you wait till you see the end result it's absolutely fabulous whoops so i'm gonna get um i'm gonna add a dimensional actually because i like a bit of 3d i'm gonna add a dimensional to the center i have cut this from the East, eastern palace 
um, designer series paper as well with the dies and thinlets. So that is going on top of my box as decoration. I think it's so cute. I just cut it out, lifted up the sides, added one of our gold faceted gems. And that's going to be the top of my box. Diane had a flower on hers. Um, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So what you're going to need are your four pieces at six by six. And with your seven by seven for the lid, you're going to go and get a pencil and you're going to score, uh, draw a line from corner to corner. Don't worry about the lines. They're never going to get seen. Each piece then is exactly the same. You're going to fold up to the center and you're going to crease and burnish really nice and crisp. And it gets stiffer the, the more you go around, but then you're going to fold this piece again. And this is going to give you all your score lines and you're going to take it up to that center line. Shake it on both sides up to the line, and you're going to crease and score and burnish again. That's simple. You're going to do that on all four sides. See how your lines are coming in? So, repeat on all fours, even with the lid, exactly the same. Yeah, so when you get your long piece, it's only scoring on the long side. And that's two and a quarter, four and a half, six and three quarters, and nine. So I'm going to, I will, like I say, I'll ask my lovely friend Diane if I can pop her PDF on. If not, I will put the measurements on. But her PDF is lovely. She's got pictures and everything. She's fabulous. Um, and I only asked her yesterday if she could get me the measurements and today uh, this morning when I cut off I had a lovely email from her so thank you Diane and I really hope you don't mind me casing your lovely little treasure box as it's called and again and I'm sorry if you can see my head it's just that I don't want to go out of, folk, out of view while I'm doing this just so you can't see the top of my head I have washed my hair today <laughs> So nice and crisp. And our last side. Can you see all the score lines coming in now? And the center here. And these panels are the sides of your boxes. And they're reinforced. They're stiff. They're, they're just they're not going anywhere. They love the little boxes. I just hope I get the gluing bit right at the end. And there's wonderful cards today. We had our um, the lovely Jackie. Uh, and I have subscribed to you, my angel. I went over and watched a couple of your videos. Lovely. I love your accent, my darling. So nice. I've always been a big fan of the Irish accent. I think it's lovely. There we go. There's our four sides all done now. Open it back up. You can pick any one you want, but you're going to take and you're going to cut opposites. Starting from this little corner, you're going to cut up to the second score line there. On this side as well. Now, you've got to do the opposite. You can't do this side. It wouldn't work. <laughs> And you're going to get that second score line, and again, to that side. That's it. That's the only two cuts there is. Now it's all glue, glue, glue. So, see these two flaps here? You want to keep these on the side. Grab your Tombow and just plaster it with glue. Don't worry about any of this going anywhere else because it's all going to get tucked in. Nothing is going to get seen. 
I have seen and I have done boxes like this before, but I was trying to work out. Don't worry about the overspills. They're not going to be seen because you've got a little liner for the inside. Obviously, you just don't want to get your fingers in it. And just fold the second, uh, the third, second score line. So your inside meets the inside. I'm using my bomb folder just to give it some help to spread that glue. Perfect. Now, with these, I went over making sure they were really perfect and I burnished these little corners as well. Same with this side. Because you don't want one drooping, you want them so they're touching either side. Just going to burnish them. Neaten that corner to corner and you will get lovely crisp corners if you do that. Tucked in. Perfect. Now you're going to glue one side and then the other. One on the inside, just those little triangles, and one on the outside. On both sides. So one on the outside, one on the inside. Now you're going to fetch them up. And you're just going to glue them to each other. Can you see the shape of this little box coming together now? Absolutely fabulous. Nice and crisp. Keeping them pushed right down. Just hold them till they adhere together. It's going to be a little bit over skill on there and there, like, got a bit too far. I'm just going to snip that little bit off. Just don't want anything poking out. Perfect. So now we're going to glue all this. And you're going to fold that over and you're going to fold that into itself. And you're going to tuck it down. What I did, it's got my little bone folder now. Whoops, sticky fingers. Push in and flatten that line and inside. And it'll crisp up that edge. Lovely. Look at that. Nice. I have got sticky fingers. Just excuse me a moment. <laughs> Oh yeah, very sticky. Don't know how, I haven't touched any glue. <laughs> now we're going to do, oh, I've got a bit of glue there. I think you took the most when I was, you cut all the pieces, you're making sure you've got all your designer series paper cut at the same time. But I think once you start this little project, you're going to have a whale of a time. It's just so easy. And again, lift that up, push that over, and then I just flattened it. Don't worry if you oozed it out a little bit. Look at this. No wonder I'm covered in glue. Wow. Just wipe it on your eraser and it gets off your fingers as well. Grab your bone folder and push that in. Just crisp up those lovely edges. Again, I'm just making sure that they're all stuck down perfectly. Nice and crisp. Perfect. I am covered in <laughs> Oh well. You might hear me, well, you might not hear anything at all at the moment, but you want your little liners. These are the two by two. 
and they're going on the inside of your box as well. This would make a fabulous little jewellery box for somebody. Or a nice little scented candle in each one. Oh, or some nice soaps. Oh, yes. So I'm going to push this in. And make sure that's glued down. And now, uh, what I did, this is the side, they're the reinforced sides. So I'm going to pop my designer series paper. Because this reinforced bit, well they're all reinforced, it's just that I think that's thicker because it's got the two sides in. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue. This is going on the front. Perfect. So now we have got, you can push your bone folder in, making sure everything's nice and square. Perfect. Look at that. How cute. Love it. Right. Let's pop that away for a minute. So now we've got our four little drawers, as they say. Oh, I'm hoping this bit works now. <laughs> and our lovely compartment. I am going to... I'm going to... Diane added ribbon to us. And I'm just going to add some of these gorgeous stickers that we had with the Eastern Palace. And I'm going to add these around the bottom of my lid. Just to decorate. A little bit more. We can have another one. I think if these stickers, I have I've had them since we had they came out, um, but very little use, very little use. So I'm going to make sure I get some use out of them now. Absolutely perfect. Just, it's all the detail, all the little details. They're the ones that really matter. I'm going to snip that. So it's lined up perfect there. Isn't that sweet? Love it. This little bit can go back on there. So I'm a Skin Clint. <laughs> uh, means I'm a penny pincher. No, I'm not really, honestly, I promise. There's a little bit, it's just starting to come away from there. And I'm just going to make sure it's off completely. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely little decoration all the way round. Perfect. We could even go round with another layer at the top. Oh, I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. Like I say, it's the attention to detail that people love. I think I can get... Have I got that one? Yes, I have. And another one. Oops, if I can get it off. There we go. I'm actually going to overlap this one so I know that it's carrying on. Keeping that as straight as possible. And I'm going to snip the end off. Isn't that perfect? It's just so cute. Look at that. Go round. Making sure it's all pushed down nice. Oh, it's perfect. And that's going to be our lid. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that perfect? Love it. I'll put my 
my little sticker back. Now, oh, this is the bit now. I've got to have a, just to have a quick look at the instructions because, oh, right. This is lay a large piece down. I think this is where we attach these beautiful little boxes now. I think it got to be right at the top. Yeah, I think so. So that's got to be adhered there. Then this little one goes here. This one then is going to go here. And then this one is going to go, actually, I'm going to space them out a little bit more because I don't want them. We want a bit of gap between each one. I don't want them touching each other. I have seen some um, done and they're so tight. When you come to close it, it doesn't sit well. And these are sitting perfectly. Oh, I love it. Love, 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 love it. Right, let me look at the picture. <laughs> One, two. Have I got too many panels? Oh, or is it? Ah, no, I think it's like this. I think that one goes on there. 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 And that one. I think this end panel has to be I'm looking, I'm looking, I promise. Yeah, this little end panel is left loose. <gasps> so I'm gonna add some double sided tape and we're gonna work away from the bottom up, I think. Oof. This is the bit that scares me. <laughs> So I'm going to add my wonderful tear and tape and I'm going to, actually going to use my scissors for this. I want some nice neat ends because I don't want this to come apart. Definitely not. And I'm going to try and get three pieces on. The more sturdy at the better, I think. I'm more fingers and thumbs. I hate. Ooh. But how simple were those little boxes to put together? And same with the lid in the exact same principle. It's just an inch bigger all round. So now I get to my bone folder and flatten them all down. So when I come to take the tape off, my bone folder is stinking as well. So when we come to take the tape off, it's stuck to the box. Now I've got to make sure that this is stuck in between these two panels right at the bottom oh my gosh see now this is the bit i'm scared of <laughs> uh, i don't want to go over that score line i don't want to go over hit this one let's have a look i'm gonna get my bone folder and press. Well, let's have a quick close up. Oh yes, perfect. Do you see it in there? <laughs> Just uh, don't. You got to get the other pieces in, Gainer. Stop. Uh, <laughs> don't. Don't. Uh, don't jump. Jump in for joy right yet. So let's get some more pieces on. Oh, my husband, bless him. He was up before me this morning. He 
he said it was his excuse was oh, I needed to go to the toilet. But he left me in bed, bless him to have a lion, because it seems it's Valentine's Day. I never heard the front door go, I never heard anything. So I'm one of these, once I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Apart from getting up to go to the toilet about umpteen times through the night, I don't hear nothing. So it's like comes up. Do you want a cup of coffee, darling? It's ten o'clock, you've got to take tablets. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll get up now. Thank you for the lie-in. Gets to the kitchen door. You wouldn't let me come in the kitchen door? And I was thinking, that's strange. He stopped, actually, and said, Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day. I said, oh, and you, my darling? I said, I'll give you a card in a minute. Oh, he said, I haven't got you a card. I said, don't worry about it, it's okay. I, said, well, I don't want that one, I want it a little bit further down. And then he, he shifted, not shifted, guided me into the kitchen, to my computer chair, where I'm sitting right now, to a bunch of beautiful roses, 12 absolutely striking roses you've ever seen in your life, absolutely beautiful. And then said, happy anniversary, love you. Oh my word, girls, these flowers are outstanding. I, uh, my, my husband's not romantic at all. Not at all. He likes to clutch on the sofa. And, but, and he does buy me flowers every now and then. But, yeah, I was absolutely shocked this morning and overjoyed. Oh, I couldn't get over it. He is Mr. Wonderful and he's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I think my husband's really fit. <laughs> he's six years younger than me, so he's my little toy boy. I love him to bits. He's an angel. Isn't that nice? Oh, ah, yeah. Sloppy sod. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Oops. I'm twisted. Not me, the paper. <laughs> oh, well. That's been said about me a few times. <laughs> you twisted. There we go. I've now attached all my tearing tape. So I'm going to squash each one down so it's nice and flat. I need to wash my phone folder. It's absolutely covered in glue. So, right, let's get another one of these lovely little boxes attached. Oh, my word. I'm going to... You could have that, but then we'd be up to there. We'd have a big gap, so I'm going to leave a little gap. I'm just going to lay them out first, because I certainly don't want to go too much of a gap. And they've got to be in those score lines perfectly so the box closes. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, pray for me, please. <laughs> you're, you're actually seeing me make this for the first time. I was going to complete the whole one, but then I realised, you know, in, and then do a whole one and then do one with you all together, but after seeing how much time it took me to do those little boxes in the lid. At least this way you can take your time. Right, I've got to make sure that they're in between those score lines. Press them down. And now we're going to sample again. Look, oh my word. It's getting there. Oh, I'm loving it. Got the next stage up. <laughs> but isn't that beautiful? Interactive jewellery box. Oh, or you could have selected Belgian chocolates. Mmm. Oh, that would be nice. Or a candle in one. Nice piece of jewellery in another. Some gorgeous soaps. And then, well, you wouldn't want candy in there unless you've got wrappers on. Because the smell of everything else. 
but you could add you could add bath bomb soap um a face little face mask wrapped up you know, decorative something really pretty and then she give it as a treat right oh i'm leaving like a fraction and in between those score lines. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. And I hope I'm doing you some justice, Diane. Thank you for giving me the measurements. Right, let's wrap it up again. <gasps> Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. I'm getting it right. <laughs> I need to click. Look, I've got glue on this. I've got glue on my scissors. I've got glue all over my bone folder. And you work. You've got to keep all your equipment really as clean as possible. So we're on our last one now. Oh. Uh, I think Diana is right at the very top, but I'm going to leave. Oh, or should I? It's too much of a gap now, so I want to keep the rhythm going. So I'm going to keep them right between those score lines. Nice and straight. Checking that I've got them there. And push right in there. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Let's test our little box again. Oh, I love it. Is that right? Is that coming together? I think that's perfect. Oh my. And our beautiful lids going on to hold it into place. Oh, mine's sticking open. I don't like it. <laughs> what have I done wrong? Oh, maybe we could have a magnet or something in the bottom. Oh, but then we would have had to do that before our designer series paper went on. Unless we add. But now it just opens up at the back a little bit. But I think that's what they're for, to make room. Or oh, everybody's added ribbons to theirs. This is beautiful. I absolutely adore it. I'm just looking at the picture now. I think that goes at the back and that is the front. So yeah, I'm going to pick the best side of my beautiful box. I'm gonna, this is going to be at the back. So this is our little jewellery uh, tower. I have gone ahead and to think of you is to smile. And I'm going to put that on there. What I did, I used one and three quarter punch with the dapper denim and that like, same um, gold foiled paper out. I cut another circle out just to give it some more shape. But I am going to pop that on there and some dimensionals. Place that on. Oh, looks lovely. Oh my, I'm going to get a, another one of those small faceted gems. And I'm going to pop on right there. Oh, I love it. So that is our box. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. It's up to you what way round you have your lid because of the decoration. It is a little bit larger, but oh, isn't that beautiful? I might just have to find some ribbon. Give me a second. That will be two minutes. Oh, what would do nice with that now? Something lovely. Watch this over. I think this is lemon lime twist, the glitter stuff. I 
I'm going to lay it down. Just, just pop it on to there for a moment. I may have to even... I've got way too much. <laughs> I'm going to have to stick it on my box. It's terrible. Look at beautiful. Let's try and tie a bow. I'm going to have to cut some of this off actually. So And that's so much bows, they just tied them in knots. Yeah, they just tied it in a knot. Watch me getting a pickle now, because you know me and bows and knots, I just don't get on. Got it round. Oh, there we are. A little bit loose, but let me just snip this end off. So much I wasted that. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do gently is untie it. If I can. Really pretty. I'm going to lay that down. And I'm going to. I'm going to add. A layer of tear and tape so my ribbon stays in place. Starting with the corner. Making sure I stay in the centre. Just to keep it in place now, oh my gosh, I've done the wrong thing. <laughs> now in my look. Let me grab this. I'm just going to pull it all off. Right, which one's the front? Pick the best side, obviously. I'm gonna have that's my front. Now I have to oh keep this in the center. Catch it to the front. Now I can tie it in my knot. And again. Whoops, isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. Absolute wow. And I'm going to trim a little bit more off. That's better. Oh, I'm going to make sure that's all stuck down. Oh, that's better. So much better. And there we have it.
there is that beautiful little box. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. So that's my Eastern Palace version. Um, the other ladies, you did the flesh, fresh florals and uh, what was that other one? Oh, I can't see what it's called. Um, is it Blooms and Bliss? Designer sales paper. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, let me check the time. Oh my gosh, it's 45 minutes. Oh my God. So good, good job I didn't do the whole project. But there's the inside. Absolutely amazing. And there's that wonderful lid. So I could take a photo just like this. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I hope you like it. Thank you, Diane, for your measurement. My darling, you are a superstar. I think that is absolutely wonderful. And there is my finished project. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.